Hello students, welcome to the new session Maths with Malish. And today we are going to discuss introduction of compound interest and the technical terms of the compound interest. And we are going to solve one example in a six ways. And without making delay, let's get on to the topic. And to know to understand what are the terms P, R, T, C, A. We are going to go with a small example. Person A, he given hundred rupees to the person B for the time period one year. And after one year, person B he returned one not five rupees. Understood? Person A given hundred rupees. Person B returned one not five rupees during the time period one year. Now here, principal is hundred rupees. A person A given to the person B, and the amount is one not five rupees. Amount is one not five rupees, and the compound interest is five rupees. Compound interest is five rupees, and time period is one year. And rate of interest is for every hundred rupees, he is going to get a. Five rupees extra. Again, I am repeating rate of interest. We need to calculate for the hundred rupees itself. So, for every hundred rupees, he is going to get five rupees extra. So, rate of interest is five percent. Is there? P is hundred. A is one not five rupees, and C is five rupees. We can understand compound interest is nothing but amount minus principal. Compound interest is equals to Amount minus and principal, and one more thing, amount is equals to principal plus compound interest. These two formulas are very very important. Compound interest is equals to amount minus principal. Amount is equals to principal plus compound interest. Now we are going to solve one example in a six methods. Method one. Now we are going to discuss method one, traditional method of a compound interest. For the first year, principal is ten thousand, and to calculate ten percent of ten thousand, ten percentage of ten thousand zero 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 will cancel, and it's going to be thousand rupees. And for the second year, second year principal will be ten thousand plus thousand, ten thousand. Plus thousand total eleven thousand for the second year. Again, I am repeating: first year principal plus first year interest combinedly will become a principal for the second year eleven thousand multiplied by ten percentage. Why? Because rate of interest is ten percentage. Zero 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 will cancel one thousand one hundred and together. Two thousand one hundred. So compound interest is equal to two thousand one hundred and rupees, and amount is equal to ten thousand plus two thousand one hundred together one two one double zero. This is the first method how to solve compound interest. Now second method. Method two. Ten thousand is the principal multiplied with like rate of interest is ten percentage. Hundred plus ten, one ten by hundred into one ten by hundred. Why? Because we return two times because time period is two years. If it is three years, you can write three times. If it is four years, you can write four times. If it is five years, five times. And numerator will be hundred plus rate of interest. If rate of interest is five percentage. One not five by hundred. One not five by hundred. Here rate of interest is ten percentage. So zero 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 cancel. Zero 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 cancel, and we are going to get amount eleven one ten into one ten. So a is equals to eleven eleven one twenty one zero zero. This is the amount, and to get compound interest, amount minus principal. So amount is. One to one double zero minus principal ten thousand difference two thousand one hundred. This is the second method how to solve compound interest. 
now move on to the third method method 3 method 3 name is ratio method now take 10 percentage 10 percentage means 10 by 100 0 0 cancel 1 by 10 so 1 by 10 represents 10 rupees principal and 1 rupees component interest so 10 will become principal and 11 will become amount again 10 will become principal 11 will become amount now 10 10 is 100 11 11 is 121 and this is principal and this is amount difference 21 rupees is compound interest i hope you are understanding now principal 100 rupees amount 121 rupees and compound interest is 21 rupees but according to the our question principal is 10000 so if principal is 10000 at what ratio it is becoming 1000 so we have to multiply with the 100 100 hundreds 10000 so here also multiply with the 100 2100 here also multiply with the 100 12100 this is amount and this is compound interest and this is principal now moving on to the fourth method method 4 method 4 percentage method and the formula is a plus b plus ab by 100 percentage so what is a here 10 percentage 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 by 100 percentage 0 0 0 0 cancel 10 plus 10 plus 1 21 percentage so 21 percentage is compound interest so take principal 10,000 and find 21 percentage 0 0 0 0 will cancel 2 1 double 0 as a compound interest add 10,000 with 2,100 12,100 rupees is nothing but a amount model 5 tree method 10,000 now 10 percentage is nothing but 1 by 10 as we know here calculate 1 tenth of 10,000 0 0 will cancel 1000 will come and here also calculate 1 tenth 1 tenth of 10,000 is nothing but 1000 and here also calculate 1 tenth 0 0 will get cancel 100 rupees will come so 1000 plus 1000 plus 100 1000 1000 100 how much 2100 rupees is a compound interest of course amount is 2100 plus 10000 12100 is the amount value calculate 1 tenth of 10000 for the first year calculate 1 tenth of first year for the second year again calculate 1 tenth of interest on the first year and to all together some 1000 1100 2100 is the compound interest and 10000 plus 2100 together 12100 is the total amount now last method with this method we are going to end this session method 6 this method is useful when you are finding difference between simple interest and compound interest for the 2 years, 3 years, 4 years. This method is going to help you a lot. And this method name is 2 1 for the 2 years, 3 3 1 for the 3 years, 4 6 4 1 for the 4 years, and take 10,000. And calculate 10 percentage. 10 percentage means 0 0 0 0 cancel 1000. Now 1000 bring to here 1000 again calculate 10 percentage 0 0 0 0 cancel 100 now multiply with the 2 times multiply with the 1 time answer 2 into 1000 2000 and 1 into 100 100 all together 2100 is the compound interest and amount is equals to 1 to 1 double z i hope you understood this concept if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon and share with your friends thank you 
जय हिंद